Chicks phone. And Korean men. Ah. If it's so much, it's like fine Toronto. This one just tastes like green juice. Oh, this is so bad. channel excuse my voice i feel like it sounds a little bit deep right now because i just woke up from a nap happy new year happy 2024 i hope your new year is off to a great start i know you guys aren't going to see this video till like mid january because i still have an la vlog and a london vlog to put out but i hope your new year went so well i hope everyone is doing well it is now like three o'clock p.m and earlier this morning you guys saw i had a big furniture delivery they came literally at like 8 20 a.m the previous night I had just finished getting rid of, rid of everything in my room. So like, I've always known that I didn't really like the furniture in my bedroom and I've wanted to change it but never got around to it. And I saw Kayla work with Castlery. I think it was like a few months ago and I'm like they have such nice pieces and um, I would love to work with them as well. So that was in the works since like November but all the stuff had to ship to me but then I went to LA when all the stuff was like getting delivered mid-December because I couldn't stay here and wait for it. Yeah I got everything delivered today. I've just been trying to like get stuff out on Facebook Marketplace but using Facebook Marketplace these days is so hard because of all the scammers and then like I have a whole bed that I'm trying to sell which is like a huge a huge uh, piece of furniture so my neighbor came down yesterday helped me dismantle it dismantle it it literally took him 10 minutes and I'm like oh I could have done that but like no um so we moved that over to my den I gave him my dresser for free because I'm not gonna like waste my time trying to sell this on facebook marketplace sold my nightstands yesterday so my room is all cleared out as you guys saw earlier this morning and like my living room is so bad so i'm gonna spend today putting stuff away and reorganizing today is gonna be the day of um getting my furniture stuff together because i'm actually working with these two brands so revival sent me my rug and it's really really nice i'm gonna go into it more tomorrow when i fix up my room because i have a few errands to run so right now i'm about to go into to my closet and pick out more of the clothes that I don't want and I need to ship some back home to my sisters on my dad's side and then ship some back home to my sister on my mom's side it's also her birthday so I need to find her like a birthday outfit so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna run the home goods and I need to get a nail fix because while I was opening the box that my rug was in my nail broke ow wow how does that happen and this is why i don't get my nails that long and i kid you not like they're not even that long i don't know i just feel like nails like they just chip so easily and i like use my hands a lot like opening boxes i'm going to the gym like it's not that bad but i just got them done a week ago so i can't like go get a whole fill in so i will definitely fix the one that's cracked because i can't walk around like this especially if i like get invited somewhere like this is just unacceptable like but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do that um i don't know what's gonna go down in this vlog but i know it's probably gonna be a bunch of like reset stuff getting myself prepped for this january and like this new year starting i'm gonna go ahead and go pick out some clothes you guys will probably see me when i go to home goods and then if not like i will talk to you guys some more tomorrow i just need to get my space together but yeah happy new year again thanks so much for coming with me into 2024 if you're new here welcome we love you and if you've been here i love you as well sayonara peace out
I hate that. I feel like I could buy it. Like, I can't have no more of this. I feel ashamed. I feel like in the moment, it's so hot. Did you miss us? Um, happy Saturday. It's like almost 5 p.m. So yesterday I did go ahead and run my errands. I got my nail fixed. Thank goodness. I just feel so much better. Like, and, but I did not go to Home Goods because it was already 6:30, and I was thinking that someone was gonna come in pick up this rug yesterday because um i told this girl that she can have it for free on facebook marketplace like i've been trying to sell my bed for forever so she was one of the people trying to buy the bed and she couldn't really afford it and she was trying to do a payment plan but i'm like yeah if you just want the rug you can have that for free because everything needs to go she didn't uh, message me back yesterday on facebook and um yeah so now i need to figure out who else to give that to so that's why the rug is back there and the rest of my apartment like i said all my stuff from my room is out here because i'm gonna like start filling up like my new dressers and i bought some under the bed storage for amazon but that's besides the point i was basically saying i didn't go to home with yesterday because i had people coming to pick stuff up but they didn't come so i just like cooked dinner and then i went to sleep woke up took a shower and then went back to sleep no watch key dramas till 6 a.m so I woke up today at 12.30. That's why I got a late start to my morning. So drank my green juice, um, made a flower arrangement. I had some pasta that I made last night and then I just got to work decluttering my closet. I didn't start like cleaning my closet because I'm trying to take stuff out, ship some of the stuff back home to my sisters. I have to ship to my mom's house. My sister's at my dad's house and then i have another sister in columbus so i'm trying to like that's what you guys saw me here was after pulling everything out that i don't want trying to sort it for who to give it to because they're all different age ranges and they can't wear like everything that i have so i've been doing that so i'm about to run to ups and ship one box for my dad's which is like this big one back here oh let me be careful for my younger sisters because they need a lot of like sweats jackets and stuff like that because it's cold back in ohio and then i still have two more boxes i need to ship but i feel like i can fill them up more so i'm gonna do more picking out of my closet while i do that but i'm like i really want to get this box gone like as much as possible and then i have a box for either the homeless shelter at goodwill i'm not really sure but it needs to go but it's like some of the stuff is more homeless shelter some is more goodwill anyways y'all so we're about to go to home goods and do that stuff right now so i'll see you guys when we're running our errands and like let's not mind my face i have pimple patches on and all that kind of stuff like we all know that my skin has been going through it but i'm trying my best i need to start getting like a facial go to a dermatologist but anyways let's go before ups closes <laughs> It is 7.41 p.m. I'm finally back from the store. I was able to ship that box um, for about $53 back home to Ohio. 
went to home goods was looking around in there for like an hour because i was also trying to look on pinterest at my like inspo um i didn't find the pillows that i wanted so i just figured i'm gonna buy like pillow inserts and then the pillow covers on amazon and i want um new lamps and abstract mirrors for my bedroom so i'm just gonna buy all that on amazon but i did find a few things so let's do a quick home goods and michael's haul um this was the throw that i bought knitted a throw blanket it kind of looks cream on camera but i would say you know, like cream slash tan so i'm hoping this is gonna look really good i should throw it in the dryer for a little bit before I put it on my bed. Literally, I've not had good sleep all last year. I feel like my pillows have been so hard, but every time I buy a new pillow, they kind of feel the same. Like, I feel like I get the best sleep, unfortunately, when I'm at hotels. So today I found this memory foam pillow, so I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes if i don't like it i'm gonna return it because i just have such bad luck with pillows when i was leaving the store i saw this and i host all the time and i was like this is so cute i feel like they have it out for valentine's day i'm not gonna be hoping hosting galentine's this year because my cat said she wants to okay i was not sure about this purchase but i got this kind of reminds me of like a picnic blanket and i got what a lot of browns and cool tones but i don't know if i want patterns but this would be like the only pattern thing and i think sometimes stuff like this can be kind of quirky because i kind of either want like a mushroom lamp or um a basic spear lamp a new dish for my bathrooms let's see the inside is just like really really pretty they had a lot of good stuff today and then you guys saw me showing you this in home goods i got the cutest trunk ever i don't know where i'm gonna put it in my closet or my room i feel like my room doesn't really have space so my closet i have like been sticking my purses in so like maybe i can put my purses in these and then at michael's i went ahead and got a canvas because i'm gonna go ahead and make my wall art for above my bed i was just gonna buy it but i'm like i could just easily and quickly make something like dash it anyway let's go ahead and make a textured canvas painting hi guys so i finished my artwork about like an hour and a half ago and i took a shower and got ready i was supposed to be meeting someone like at a bar or something but i don't know what uncle is doing he's not replying to his phone so that's not my business i can't sit here and wait like if i didn't have my makeup on i would uh folding clothes and stuff and then probably edit watch my k-dramas hop into bed but i'm already ready so i'm just gonna go to the saint regis bar it's not too far from here i'll we'll have a glass of wine like i wasn't gonna start um drinking wine before i left the house but now it's like 11 18 and i'm like okay now it's late now i'll have a glass of wine because i didn't want to like be like tipsy before i went out because i'm lightweight anyway and i don't know if i told you guys but now this month i don't know if i'll keep it going after january i'm not doing any hard liquor so only like wine or champagne and socially drinking um because i'm trying to like limit my alcohol and then i'll also be doing some more like fitness and wellness stuff like gonna be kind of like a 30 hard but like not like super extreme just like moderated to fit me but i'll like map that out tomorrow but this is a dress i've worn this before this is from boohoo love it down i almost let go of it today and sent it off to my sister but i'm like i like this dress a lot like i feel like this is just like a staple keep in my closet and it's held up really well i really like the quality i'm sure it's like sold out but if i can find the link i'll link it but just a little classy fit i think i'll take the the strap off my jack mousse but all black i can't let people waste my time <laughs> check's phone hey 
I was saving my gift. Najee gave me my Christmas gift yesterday because I was out of town. And I was gonna wait to open it, but I feel like now. Yeah, I'll open the gift with you guys tomorrow morning. But all right, I'm just gonna call my Uber and head to the bar. I will talk to you guys in the morning. Cheers to a good night out and being home before 2.30 or 3. 3 is the max. 3 is the max. Hi. You've been putting in a lot of hours at their house. This morning, you are not coming home from a party. Okay, how do we know it's a cross-reference his registered vehicle with our description and partial plate? It's a match. I already put out a bullet. I'll send you to sell my house. Maybe we'll get lucky. take a nap it's now 11 54 you guys haven't really seen me all day i've been putting my clothes away for the majority of the day and i feel like the majority of the day escaped me without me doing a crazy amount because i was watching the rookie at the same time trying to organize my clothes but i was also trying to put my clothes in my new dresser drawer and decide what's gonna go into under the bed storage so i feel like that was the most difficult part like choosing what to keep my new dresser is a lot smaller than my old dresser so i can only put a certain amount of stuff but i'm about to like put my um storage containers under my bed so i wanted to show you guys that part and i got these from amazon and i'm so glad i actually have under the bed storage because i've never really had a place to put my extra sheets and i just feel like i have so much stuff in this apartment and not enough places to put it which is why it gets messy easily and i have a lot of clothes so i'm trying to give that stuff away like i have more clothes going out um i need to really figure out this like donation thing i feel like i can't make it how i want to like i wanted to have it like be like a really fun like cute girl shopping day for the people who come to shop and stuff but i really don't have like the energy to put something like that on and I haven't had like the energy to do that for a while. So but I think like now I'm going to find a church maybe next to like GSU and ask them if they have like a space that I can use. Because like I feel like sometimes churches should have like tables or something and I can like bring the clothes, something like that. And if they if their church can't work, I'll just have to like rent out a place on peer space that I don't really want to spend money to put this on. But like I feel like charity events and stuff, you do have to spend money unless I find like sponsors or something. All this stuff has got to go by the end of January is my goal to get it out. Worst comes to worst, I'm going to drop the boxes off at GSU and be like, hey guys, this is where they are on campus. But I feel like someone could just like take all the clothes, which is what I don't want. Thinking about it is giving me anxiety, like it's stressing me out. So I'm not gonna think about it. But let's see, I've never opened this bed yet. Oh, I should have asked them how to open it. Oh, oh, okay, it's actually pretty. Okay, Castlery, it's actually pretty easy. Like, once you lift it, it just goes up by itself. Like that's so great. And then there's a thing here to lock it so it doesn't, which is kind of dangerous. 
said to lock it while I'm underneath. I will um, link these storage bins. They are by Storage Lab. I will link the exact products in the description. I really wanted the black ones, but I'm like, actually gray might be better. Um, so I can like see what's going on. And I opted for the clear top because I need to, what's it called? I need to see my clothes. So I have extra workout stuff in here. I'm gonna keep it in the front because I work out all the time and since the bed is easy to use it's actually really great and then i have swim which you guys saw me pack and then i don't know what i'm gonna put in my other one i have four of these all right oh almost almost fell. okay so you guys can't really see it. i used the trunk that i got from home goods and put the rest of my activewear in there because i still have more that i haven't like washed I picked up all the clothes like all over my house that i had previously washed but now i still have the stuff in my suitcases from my trip from yeah from la and london so i had to wash that and then like i had to like pack them all back away and stuff but now i'm just gonna go to the kitchen wash the dishes um clean off the counter and then i will be heading to bed because we have training in the morning and then going to the gym is part of getting back into my my routine i only ate twice today i had breakfast and i had some sushi about like four hours ago i think i'm just gonna have some green juice and then oh i don't know okay well i'll see you guys tomorrow at training i honestly feel like my room looks like i'm just moving in like my apartment like the boxes of stuff oh my god um clearly i did not finish cleaning off my dresser last night actually this is like miscellaneous i need to find a spot for it but i am getting ready it's 12 o'clock right now i had a slow morning um i honestly should have gotten up at 10 like i wanted to i have a hard time like leaving the bed and then i was trying to find a coffee shop to go to for forever it took me like 30 40 minutes to find one there's a lot of options but i also don't want to drive like super far because of parking like so i found a coffee shop it's called the chastain but it's like it's like a cutesy like eatery spot it's not really like a work from home so i'm gonna go there and grab like some brunch because i don't really want to cook like i've already wasted so much time and then i'm gonna go over to foxtail coffee which is like right around the corner and get a lot of work done so i packed my toe i feel so sad that this, i need to figure out a way to like refresh the leather because i put this in my suitcase when i was traveling to london and it got like smushed like you can see like the line and stuff but this bag is so cute it fits so much it's from this brand called lambert thank you to michelle marie pr um they connected me with them and they gifted me this but one thing i did want to say is guys make a tiktok about this but someone was asking me like oh what kind of jackets do you wear with like dresses and stuff like that because i don't really know what to wear and when i tell you a trench coat you need one in your closet like i'm absolutely obsessed and this one is from asos it's in my black friday haul it's um in my collective haul it's linked there but um i just need to make a tiktok about like all the jackets that i wear with like my going out pieces and stuff but like i have on such like a basic fit um and when i put the trench coat on it already like immediately elevated it i'm gonna put on a scarf though because it's cold i put on a pair of sunglasses as well i feel like that takes the look up a notch too i have my gloves in my bag i almost forgot to tell you guys we were supposed to go to training this morning obviously you didn't see that because i woke up at 7 30 woke up on time but i was feeling so sleepy and i'm like my body needs more rest so i didn't go so i'll go to the gym later i just love training because Dion is leading the session and like i know exactly what i want to do and i always push myself harder when i'm with the trainer but i was like yeah you're just getting over being sick let's just sleep in so that's why we didn't go to training but yeah okay let's go
we are back from our coffee shop work day really really productive work day i worked for about like three hours straight three and a half hours and i absolutely love that coffee shop it's not like the most aesthetic thing but it does have a kind of homey vibe it's like a lot of light does get in i did like the ambiance the staff was so friendly like they come around and check on you and i ordered a chai chai do chai dolce latte chef kiss and i don't even drink coffee but it was so sweet so i feel like that's why i liked it like it was basically a lot of sugar which i normally don't have in my diet like i just never really add sugar to stuff anymore like even when i make pancakes or something it'll be like protein powder yeah and for my teas and stuff i just like use honey so i don't really eat consume like raw sugar and stuff but it was really really great so after that i went to goodwill and dropped off a box of stuff now i'm back home i ate and then i ate like 30 minutes ago and now i'm all dressed up for the gym and we're about to go hit a full body workout i want to well you guys are gonna come with me i just don't know how much of the gym you're gonna see because i for the life of me for the past weekend i have not been able to find my tripod like my baby tripod and i didn't really bring it to new york because i wasn't vlogging so i don't know where it is and i'm sure i'll find it once i finish cleaning but now we don't have it so i'm gonna still bring my camera see what we can get let's go over the fit the sports bra is from amazon and i actually love these i have the same one in white my leggings are from navigation you guys know if you're not new here if you've been following me i always wear their brand and socks and then my new new balances these are also linked in my collective try on haul if you're interested but yeah this is today's gym fit it's 6 20 let's go ahead and get to the gym oh my gosh i forgot was, i had my pasta my shrimp pasta there's literally only one piece of shrimp in there and then i normally have broccoli with it but i was like i'll have my green juice because i forgot to drink this in the morning before i left for the coffee shop so let's go ahead and finish our green juice i put some collagen powder in here like the same the same brand that i showed you guys um the other day this one just tastes like green juice like it doesn't really taste good it just tastes like i'm drinking greens like it's not a bad it's just like this is what greens taste like the one from whole foods tastes so good because that one has apple in it i knew it this one does not have apple this is it has grapefruit instead i don't know why but um so cucumber celery grapefruit green shard and lettuce and it has they call this a vegetable and fruit juice drink they should call it a vegetable drink there's barely any fruit in here but all right on my way to the gym i'm so excited i love the gym and i haven't been to my gym in over a month no exactly a month exactly a freaking one all right let's go get into it you can't have my phone number unless we running up the digits let me meditate i just need a couple minutes trying to low bummy me my girl is to the big ass when i get high i ain't looking at the clock still falling like bra yeah i'm headed to the bus then i'm falling like yeah i ain't looking at the clock still falling like bra when I get, when I get, when I yeah, get high Let me meditate, then I celebrate Trying to get the cake, I don't take a break mm, Yeah, wait Grew up in the 90s, we was watching Ricky Lake We was eating top ramen or a TV dinner plate uh, Made that couple dollars so i probably get the steak Go on my dad, John and Venice, I told Quinn and I'll be late Ay, I'm so epidemic, I'ma cause an epidemic Put my feet up in the building, bet, 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 like a tenant. When I get high I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like bra yeah, I'm headed to the bus, then I'm ballin' like, yeah I ain't looking at the clock, still ballin' like, bruh When I get, when I get, when I get high all right guys so we're all done with the workout we had a nice full body workout i'll put what i did on the screen i have to remember to screenshot it and i'll decide if i have a rest day or not tomorrow if my body is sore but tonight i'm just gonna go home shower i think i'm gonna wash my hair because it's been itching and like do a mask because i'm not really too hungry wash my hair have a protein shake and then edit my la vlog so you guys won't see me tonight um surprisingly like you guys always ask me what i weigh it's usually like 109 but when I weighed myself the other day, I was 110, even though I was sick, and I thought I had lost weight, so I feel like I just stopped working out, so I wasn't, like, as toned as normal, but I was actually 
one pound heavier or maybe it was water weight like my cycles coming up we do hold on to water weight so i'll weigh myself tonight and i'll put my weight my current weight on the screen but i did just work out so Yo, i can omg i literally look like a bald eggplant like this is not a joke like i look like sojourner truth or someone about to cross the underground railroad like literally well i feel like you guys can't tell but whenever i have my hair like in the middle part and like the twist like twisted into two parts you can't really see because i have this headband on right now it just reminds me of that so bad i literally look like i look young with my natural hair but with that hairstyle it just gives like older and other grandma but um yeah so i like you guys already know that i've been like working my natural hair out like i've been wearing it out like at home so like when i got that bob cut i realized that like there's not really like too much of an issue with my natural hair being unhealthy it's just that i had so many so many dead ends so then when i cut it it's a lot easier for me to do stuff with it like i wear closure wigs now most of the times so, like i'll just take it off and then i'll have my hair in a claw clip at home and i can like still run errands and stuff like that with it because it doesn't look a mess i think my thing was more so when i was like i'm still wearing wigs but i was doing braids underneath so like when you have your wig off you can't do anything because you have braids and i feel like my hair does so much better when it's not anything it's just left alone and my wig caps um whenever i have the silk press or anything it just goes on flat and now my hair i just blow dried it last night and i feel like my wig cap would still like work on top of this so i'm not and i feel like it is because my hair is so short that there's not like a crazy amount of it to try and twist up so i'm not gonna be rebraiding it we'll see because i have a date tonight so we'll see if i'm able to put a wig cap over top of this low-key i feel like i should try that before actual date night comes in case i have to like braid it up or whatever but um yeah you might be wondering girl why is there all this like um oil and stuff on your upper lip <sighs> i tried to wax my upper lip today at home like with the strips i don't recommend these at all these are green ones today i feel like i've used this the yellow once before but it literally rips the skin off of my face like off of like my upper lip so the last time i tried to do that was because i couldn't get in to see like my eyebrow lady and stuff and i was traveling but i went over the area multiple times so there was like multiple rips like it was hurting i was like oh no so then the next day i saw it like scab over but like your face heals pretty quickly so they were gone in like about like maybe like four days to about a week like it would already cleared up but they just hurt so bad so this morning i'm like oh i have a little bit more peach fuzz than usual maybe we should wax a little bit because look i have like a lot of hair on my face like you guys see like how thick my eyebrows are like these are like natural and like i naturally have oh my god my skin i naturally have um like a lot of sideburns and stuff like you can't really see but there's so much like hair on my face so i'm also thinking about like dermaplaning or whatever but i was like let me go ahead and wax and i only did it one time on each side and i still got a little like skin peel and i'm like there's no way because the wax lady like they use like the hot wax and that never happens i was thinking to myself like is it retinol because if you use retinol you're not supposed to whatever area and stuff like they ask you because it can kind of peel the skin but i've never had an issue with waxing my face whenever i go to anyone um like get serviced by anyone for years and but i usually avoid this area regardless like when i'm putting on like my facial products because i don't really get acne or anything in this area but yeah so that's why i have a lot of oil on my face because i moisturize a lot so it can like heal my moisture barrier or whatever but anyway oh my god my skin <sighs> like this is so bad and I, a lot of it is like scarring um i did a dead sea mud mask last night and i feel like a bunch of my active bumps went away it's from amazon so i will link it here i feel like i have the potential to have really really great skin like do you guys see yeah do you guys see how like glowy my skin is like i feel like i have the potential to have such great skin it just has like acne and scarring on this part but like as you guys can see i feel like my skin like you see the places where there's not acne like it just looks really glowy and vibrant so i need to figure i feel like it's hormonal acne a hormonal imbalance i um don't really eat a lot of bad foods because i was gonna say like maybe back there's like something bacterial going on but i think maybe i just have like clogged pores because i was looking at my skin back in january of last year and it wasn't this bad like when i was like doing my recap post on instagram like it was not bad at all and I want to get back to that because like makeup goes on so much better when your skin is doing well. 
um and i think like this year i was trying to think about like what happened this year that's so different from the other years there's definitely two things that have changed number one i traveled way way more and i drank a lot more so like every time i'm going on a trip there's like more tequila stuff like that like and i never really used to be a tequila girl till i moved to atl it was more so like vodka which is disgusting now like i prefer to be a tequila person but like a lot more tequila a lot more drinking every single week so i'm a social drinker i don't really drink at home like even though i have like wine and stuff in my house i've tried that maybe like i can count on my hand how many times i've tried to do that at home it just yeah it doesn't give it just gives i'm going to sleep but um yeah so i drink a lot more and then also i use a ton more products on my face than i'm used to because i get so much like skincare pr now as well so i'm like trying different things and then like i'll have them i just have so many products like in my bathroom so like i'll use something and then leave it out on the counter and then i'll come back and like okay maybe i'll use this use this use this like when you have too many options there's such a thing as like too many options that becomes so bad because now it's like i'm trying to use this this, this. that's another reason why i'm trying to declutter um because and i know i'm talking a lot but like this is going into like the whole reset thing like habits that i'm trying to change but like i'm trying to declutter and have less things because when things get messy it's more of a mess you can control but when things get messy and you have a lot of things girl before um i would have attributed my apartment to depression like it was so bad and i'm so thankful it's not gotten that bad since i've been happier because now i can look at a mess and be like this needs to go because it doesn't really match like the mindset that i have up here like um and i i, I really like always thought it crazy like i definitely knew like when they always say like oh yeah like you can definitely tell like a depression apartment like you're your home environment kind of like matches your mind and i understood that but it's so crazy when you have the reverse happening like i see a mess and i'm like no this has to go this has to be fixed versus like oh just walking by i'm like uh tomorrow tomorrow it's more so like it needs to be fixed how can i fix it so how can i fix it how can i fix it so all good things coming like i'm getting rid of stuff and it's like i'm getting rid of stuff but not fast enough because i still know like i stopped not stop work but like i wasn't really replying to emails december up until like two days ago so like there wasn't like an influx of stuff coming in but i just started replying to brands so i'm gonna have more stuff coming in and i know the stuff coming in is not gonna be um the stuff going out is not as fast which is why i want to get rid of like the clothes for the college students and stuff but um yesterday i posted a story about donating to goodwill and um someone commented on my story and if you've been watching my channel you know i've been trying to organize a donation drive for girls for the longest time like almost a year now i just haven't figured out how to do it and this girl reached out to me because i said like yes you didn't have a room for me maybe i'll find a church nearby and they can have something i could use because i'm like they're a church they should probably be more helpful and she commented she belongs to this church um, they're in the metro atlanta area and they partner with with uh, uh, multiple schools i think spellman clark and something else so if that can work out by the end of jan all the clothes in my den are going to be gone and then i only have to worry about like the stuff i want to do for depop and that's the other thing like there's so many clothes going in different directions and this is a one bedroom apartment so first of all i have my clothes the clothes i want to keep and the stuff that i'm working on next i have clothes that i want to send back home to my siblings because i can't just have it in a box and be like mom come pick this up or drop it off i have to pack it pack it and ship it and have to make sure i fill the box because i don't want to be going to the post office every day to ship my siblings clothes so then we have clothes going back home to ohio next we have clothes that i'm going to resell on depop because either i bought them or they're super high end and it's like i'm want to give you guys nice clothes but it's like okay Angu, you can sell this and like make a profit and number four is the clothing that i want to give away to girls so there's four categories of clothing that i'm trying to keep track of in this place and it's just driving me crazy and it's because i'm not the type of person to just throw everything into a box and like okay goodwill take this because that's not what i want i want it to go for like a good cause like i want those clothes like i don't want them to be bought at a goodwill i want it to go to girls that can use them and like get them for free because like that's what i've done if that makes sense and i've said this so many times before you guys are probably tired of hearing it but yeah so today you're not gonna see much of me first of all i look like this i mean you've already seen me like this for what five minutes talking like this now it's two o'clock now because i was posting an important message on my instagram about motivational stuff i probably made a tiktok by now 
on it like a summary so you should go watch that if you want to check out like my instagram post insights and see like the growth yeah so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna just get cracking on my la vlog because i was doing so much admin work yesterday for three hours straight that i barely got to edit any of that vlog and i want the vlog to go live tomorrow so i can post my london vlog this weekend tomorrow wednesday will be the last day of this vlog we'll have training and then i'll show you guys the new stuff that i got for my apartment because it's all supposed to arrive today from amazon i'm oh my gosh almost forgot oh my gosh i look like a little peanut i wanted to um open my gift from Najee because it's been three days my mother gave me a gift i don't think i told you guys about that y'all I'm gonna tell you guys about that when I look better because this is no this is I okay anyways I'm I'm looking worse and worse as the time progresses so I'm gonna see you guys um when I open no when I go to my date when I get dressed for my date I'm gonna open my Christmas gift and tell you guys what my mom gave me for Christmas because it absolutely will positively blow your mind okay see you guys later <laughs> Give me a mom's number. I'm gonna call your mom right now, cause they, they still need to pick it up. Uh-uh. My, my, my mom. Uh -uh. My mom. No, 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 no. So you only wear white guys? No, not only. Mostly. You prefer white guys? Korean and Korean men. Ah! Ajay Bota. <laughs> What's that mean? Soft baby. This is the moment of the truth. <laughs> Actually, I think upside down. Oh, actually, no, it's fine. Boom. That looks good. Pointing down. Yeah, I like the shape pointing down because you can actually look at yourself. Okay, okay. I love it. Yeah, okay. this is good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, construction. bed it is sunday night but it's technically like monday now it's 12 30 a.m but it's basically sunday night before i tell you guys what i was doing tonight i just want to give you guys like a quick catch up because this vlog has kind of been all over the place and i'm kind of like losing my my marbles a bit in terms of like what i've actually filmed because i'm like editing two other vlogs like at the same time right now and also excuse me if I stumble over my words a little bit more, I have my Invisalign in, um, not Invisalign, oh my gosh, my retainers, because it's nighttime. Um, so, I can't even remember where we left off. I don't even go, I don't even think I got to tell you guys about my date, or even show you, like, what I wore to date night. Like, it was just so hectic. I think I took a nap, and then I was ready on time for my date, so I just left, and then I didn't get to talk to the camera when I came back. But we went to House Steakhouse. It was with Mr. Lawyer Man. He's a really, really nice guy, so it was a really nice time. And then we went to Johnny's after, which is a place, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a bar that's been here forever, and it's like really like a lot of like older white people go there, young people go there, and they still have fun too. It's just like old school vibes. Um, so that was, was that Wednesday? Y'all, I don't even know what day that was. I did not take any pictures of anything that night. Like I was more so living in the moment. And then what did you guys miss out on? I think I've just been trying to um, edit my LA vlog that has gone live now. So I think I was more so focused on that. And then I have been like cleaning. I went to Goodwill and stuff. And then now I've been packing another box to send to one of my younger sisters. She just moved into her first apartment. And I'm like, I have a bunch of things here that I don't really want. One of them is these lamps. 
So I have two of these bedside lamps that I'm giving away because they don't match my decor, my decor anymore. So I'm gonna ship those to her. My Nutribullet, I don't want any more. Um, another little mini lamp. So I'm gonna pack up that box and send it to her. And then my other sister in Columbus. So I've just been doing all the same stuff that you guys have been seeing. So I'm like, it's kind of gonna be repetitive. But I did do a little bit more to my room. You guys saw that um, my uncle, he helped me put up these two mirrors that i got from amazon i will link them down below i'm gonna show you guys my room in the next vlog because i feel like i just need to make it perfect before you guys see the finishing touches i don't know why i felt like i was going to be able to do this in two three days it's not realistic all the stuff that i got for my nightstands that i want came in so i'm gonna go ahead and film that tiktok probably tomorrow or the next day i have a rug new rug in my room but i also have a new rug for the living room like we had Bree's birthday on thursday happy birthday to was a vibe we went to onyx the gentleman's club i don't really frequent gentlemen's gentlemen's club so it was a good time with the girls as always but after that like i decided that's something really big i just decided that i'm not gonna drink alcohol anymore i was gonna say until i move but i think i just switched it to until my cruise i'm going like on a brand trip as someone's plus one and even then still only wine because i think i told you guys i was stopping hard liquor for i think i was only going to do it for the month of january and stuff but i've low-key been seeing an improvement in my skin in terms of like um the big acne bumps getting better overall and i haven't really increased my water intake the only major difference has been the alcohol um and I'll, i knew like for a fact that alcohol really does affect me a lot like in terms of like sometimes i'll drink if i drink a lot one night like i might get sick the next day in terms of like coughing and all that kind of stuff because it does lower my immune system especially if i'm not a person that has been eating well but basically no more alcohol for me for the indefinite future and, and that will be for at least 35 days because i'm gonna do like a 35 35 soft instead of like 75 hard or 75 soft 75 hard is just like you choose a diet and you stick to it no alcohol at all and you have to train i think you have to work out at least twice for 45 minutes and drink a gallon of water and then read 10 pages of like a non-fiction book a day yeah if i'm missing anything that we did in this vlog or forgot to like touch base on again i'm so sorry but tonight i really wanted to do this with you guys because this was one of like the main things supposed to be in the title of this vlog because it's kind of like a reset vlog like things that i'm doing but like i said this whole month is going to be reset for me so i just got ready for bed i took a shower have my tea here i lit my perfect night sleep candle and i've been writing out my new year resolutions um i've been wanting to do this for a while like i've just have been having them circle in my head i've had some stuff like on my phone which is why you saw me looking on my phone and i was like looking up some other ones like on google that i thought would be reasonable i'm gonna go ahead and read a few not all of them maybe i'll do like a separate video on that number one is get closer to god and pray more um since the new year started like even before the new year i've been trying to like wake up and pray every morning number two is call and check in on my family more i feel like i'm the daughter the friend that's like really low maintenance like i have a lot of love for you and i show that in my own way which was like through acts of service gift giving like i'm always there to help out and you can always text me if you need me but during the other time i'm trying to get my own life together and but i want to call and check in on my family more especially like my parents because our parents are getting older and guys it's just like we all know the inevitable it happens it's gonna happen to all of us like at the end of our lives and stuff but just even trying to imagine having to go through that and i know like even some of my friends have gone through that already and like when you just see your parents getting older it just like tugs at your chest because like we all know what's gonna happen ah, number three sleep more for sure like i have such a bad habit of napping and then like staying up until the wee hours of the night like we really need to get a handle on that and i definitely realized that when i don't nap i will be ready to go to bed by 9 10 which is like normal time but i just will look at my phone like 9 10 is so matter of fact scratch 9 10 ready to go to sleep by 7 8 but i'm just like that is so too early like that's too early like i just have always grown up thinking that that is too early anything before 12 
it's like geez like that's a bedtime i'm trying to take my weight gain journey seriously like i've always said but sleep impacts that because i feel like i do a lot of things right but some of the stuff just counteracts that like i go to the gym and i work out really well but if i'm not eating enough like i'm not gonna have enough fuel to actually fuel my progress in the gym fuel my muscles and like gain that weight like overall that i want alcohol moderation I already kind of touched on that when i said like i wasn't drinking anymore but like it's gonna be throughout the whole year alcohol moderation for sure like no more drinking to get like wasted and stuff like that like i have stopped that for a while though like i'm never really drinking to like oh i want to be insane or whatever but like i really need to like bring it back because and also like more so think about how many drinks i'm having and have like a cap because versus like when i go out and stuff i'll just like be knocking stuff back like oh you want another shot let's take a shot woo -woo. you know once you get a drink it's like another one another one another one that was very much how i am like i wasn't drinking every day but it's like when i go out to drink like i'm drinking for a reason i just don't want to like sit on like alcohol for no reason because like why why would i do that oh this is another good one i have told myself that i want to watch a self-help slash knowledge video every day and i find these on youtube um i'm gonna list um the girls that i watch right here and i've been doing this a little bit since last year but i want to do that every day this year and there's other good things on this list but i might make a full youtube video i think i also um i need to put that maybe in my career goals so i want to get more into like my fun content like videos like posting videos just to like help people learn something which is also another way i'm going to treat my tiktok just like post 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 like just push content out there if people like it they like it if they don't they don't but just doing that more so to get my face out there have another page because like new year's resolutions and my business goals are going to be different and then i also have like my dating boundaries which is a completely different list so when i write these boundaries down i need to respect them i already started it like in my notes app i was like telling someone like on a date like yeah i love solo traveling taking myself on solo dates because i feel like i learn so much more about myself when i solo travel and i was at this bar in new york and i'm like sitting at the bar by myself i'm having a glass of wine and i'm like just like people watching and stuff i'm like hmm maybe this would be a good time to write out some of like my my standards and qualities that i like in a man my dating boundaries because they're always circling in my head but once you write them down and can go back and reference them you're going to be easily able to enforce them yeah so um that is all for this segment the journal that i have is from inside then out they sent me three they sent me like a whole package so they sent me this journal it's like your um your birth sign it's like just like a normal blank journal and then i also have a dig deeper journal that has like journal prompts which is really cool and like this journal feels really really nice i really like this um so i'm gonna keep this in my nightstand and i think i'll just start filling it up when i have like thoughts that i want to remember or like life lessons that i feel like are important and like i don't know maybe i'll keep it for a while pass it down to my daughter i'm glad i got that done it's 1 a.m and i need to go to sleep soon but i think i will pick out some things from lulu's um because i have another campaign with them this month they wanted to um renew my contract and do another video which i'm actually happy about because it's like a much higher rate since this is my second time working with them i have been wanting to open this gift for the past week najee gave me this gift I could have just opened it. I don't know, but I thought it would just be a nice touch to the vlog. But I told her and stuff too that that was why I was waiting. She had told me in the car it's more of like an everyday thing. And I can't remember what I guess. I can't I can't remember. I wish I knew what I guess because it was so funny because she was like, no, it's not looking like that. When she said something everyday, I can't remember. Anyways, oh my gosh, my camera is dying. My camera was about to die, so I replaced the battery. I just realized that I was so far away from the camera. So I hope I wasn't blurry this whole time when she said that in the car that it was an everyday thing i guess something and i think it was more of like a household item <laughs> but when i came back to the bag that night or the next morning i was like this is like like jewelry like crystals swarovski crystals y'all this girl I, I hope this girl did not give me jewelry let me see it's like a mini santa it's a black santa first of all it says the the envelope says to someone special happy holidays beautiful i love you so much love Najee xoxo 23 so cute oh it says 2023 to infinity that's so cute it's january 14th but it's like the first 
Christmas gift that I'm unwrapping. My mom gave, got me something really, really special. And I think I told you guys about it. Didn't, I'll do it in the next vlog, but <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, it's, oh, it's a ring. This is so cute. Oh, I think she got me, like there's a receipt in it so that I can like exchange it and get my proper ring size. It's like a band ring, but it has like diamonds in here. Well, I guess I should say crystals. I might have to go one size down. Oh, this is so pretty. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go one size down because I don't want this to fall out. But this is so thoughtful. Thank you so much, Najee. If you're watching this, I'm about to text her right now. This is so cute. That was a good guess on the ring size though because uh, people really don't know. Like my fingers are actually like so small. Like my ring size is like... Um, a five or a four this is a good place to end this vlog um if it was boring i apologize i'm still gonna post it anyway um but i feel like it was a good like segue into like our other vlogs of the year and stuff make sure to follow me on my instagram my tiktok and my twitter i'll be posting a lot more on there I'm wishing you all a happy new year i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys now i can't go to sleep now i can't go to sleep good night <laughs>